Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my channel, Black Rainbow Tarot. So, I hope you're doing amazing. Sorry, I have been away attending to a personal matter, so I have not been doing any readings for a week, which uh, I think is the longest uh, ever, uh, because yeah, I do like to do these readings daily, even if I also have other commitments, but uh, anyway. I'm here now, so uh, I hope you're doing amazing. Um, I will be clarifying what is the most likely outcome in your love life. There is a person here that is holding on to you, but especially to your mind. This person is someone that could be linked to a childhood trauma to do with codependency here. This person is very conflicted. They are a bit aggressive in terms of their, um, it's, it's like they are like aggressively coming towards you like in this kind of cold way it's hard to explain and therefore we're going to clarify and they also know that there is there is a new you a new energy coming into your life and as this is coming towards you it's as if this codependence codependent energy could be getting stronger you could also notice people around you change you could start getting a different perspective on people as if someone's toxic energy could appear in people that you know it's something it's something that you know about that that you could go like you have your faith but there is a current inner struggle that you could be going through that has to do with a codependency issue or addiction here there is kind of like it's caused tension within you it's it might have caused you to get some rivals recently it's as if you feel there is a curse around you as well as if you it's like you feel you have to be vigilant in your like in your closest environment at the moment but i feel like it's a link to this person wanting to come back into your life as well there could also be someone like you when you encounter this person they were very very toxic they could also have a toxic crowd around them it's something about a heavy people it isn't you it's like people are heavy uh, it's like they have got and a little bit too close to your energy and therefore i see here that many of you could really do some self-reflection withdrawal searching finding your knowledge from within there is a self-evaluation you have a wake-up call there is also you studying for something, improving your skills as well, and it could be getting you out of your head. There is a person here that have, you know, they, this could be someone that is very romantic. They don't have much money. They could live somewhere sunny. They are someone that is just thriving when they see something beautiful, especially with people's looks. That's when they get triggered and they run but they don't do anything more this person and you could have connected this person you, they made you made them very happy they have recently experienced pain to do with karma for their behavior and now they're searching for a new purpose and that purpose is you but you have not seen this new side to them and i believe that you don't want to see whether they have changed or not. For many of you, there is someone here that you want to avoid at all costs because you have given them chance after chance and you have opened your heart and you have finally walked away. Many of you actually could have emptied your heart and you do not have any feelings for them, but they could still be on your mind, even if it's like a toxic, it's, it's, it's almost like just their name or a memory or just, just their presence somehow is there around you um okay so what is the most likely outcome here for the collective what is the most likely outcome 
uh, this energy will be released it will go it will be released see here the four of wands have faith have faith that you are going to receive a happy relationship and, and uh, a relationship that is going to make you feel at home with this person, success and harmony. You will be comfortable again. Now, there is an obsessive love around you. There isn't going to be an obsessive new start with someone. Something will come in with a bang here someone with pisces capricorn could come towards you there is this love that is coming in whether it is from the past or a new person it could be extremely intense now you could have capricorn in your chart or someone is dealing with a capricorn maybe a scorpio there is strong pisces someone here is a, there is not a grounded connection someone is could be harmful as well there is something to do with self-sabotage here it is that someone have like almost overindulged in their pain for longing for this memory of you that they are going crazy but they are still not doing anything and if this could be eating them up alive here and uh, i see that you will be connecting with someone that both of you could have air in your chart air elements in your chart this connection here it is meant to be this person could have sagittarius in your chart in their chart they are going to come forward very soon but there is someone there is a tower moment that has to happen a tower moment with a sagittarius or a scorpio could be happening for this connection to come together uh, maybe a leo as well there, this connection here is meant to happen, but someone will uh, be left out. This could also be a Libra. There is, I'm picking up either a female Capricorn or female Leo could be left out. This is, if it's this person here, this person is like they could have been in a, not a fruitful relationship. There could also have been a divorce. I don't really see a marriage or anything like that. This person that is coming towards you, you are going to be very open and communicate to each other. I do strongly feel that it is a new beginning have already started. It's in the works for you and this person. Now, it is new love. I see it's new romance. It is playful. Very much so. Um, yes, let's uh, add a few more cards, but it's quite clear. There will be jealousy around this connection. Why? Why is there? Why is this devil here? Uh, why is this devil here? It is coming up, especially in your... It could, it's like someone outside of... Like someone... Someone that is in your environment, uh, someone that is looking at you, someone that wants to stir just because they can or if they get the possibility. Yeah, you know, you are going to find out someone that purposely is trying to cause problems for you. This is someone that regret, they regret, they are jealous and they regret uh, doing something to you here there could be in a work situation i'm picking up an aries capricorn there is something to do with an outside again the devil my goodness why is the devil here this is a codependent energy this is someone that tried to if you see here with the wheel of fortune and with the seven of cups Someone here juggled, they left you out in the cold. They didn't treat you uh, with love and they didn't treat you uh, when, well when they had the opportunity. They were always looking for the next be best thing. As the time passed, they know that this connection is very strong, very special. And now they're not able to connect with you again. This new love is coming towards you and that will be your justice. That will be your revenge. There could also be you perhaps being happy about revenge for someone and maybe 
it will it's something here that there is anger there is anger towards someone there's someone here that's very angry it's like it's so jealous they want to hurt someone which is obviously unhealthy you know um you know thoughts and uh, of revenge or that happens to everyone right especially um in love there is just something that's very hateful <laughs> there is some of the hate they, they have so much hate and anger that they are besides themselves. But that is someone that is very much ruled with their ego. They believe that they have a sort of an ownership over you, over this connection by doing nothing. They are angry that you are not coming towards them, even though they are the one that ran away. They are obsessing, watching you. You are not coming towards them, but they are obsessing kind of, like having some kind of illusion that you will come forward. Um, there is someone here that is very like green of envy, of regret. You will see this person. They know that you have passed a judgment. This person here have been very mean. They have, it's like gossip. There is arguments. This is like full on uh, corrupt and, and sabotage. So you could feel this as well right now for many of you you could feel that is very much in your feelings and the advice here is that it is kind of to uh, distance yourself uh, get some uh, alone time and uh, some tlc there is something about a vibe around you there's someone here that is very angry that you are pulling away. Maybe you have figured someone out. You know that this person is mean. Maybe you figured out someone is a narcissist. Maybe you confronted them. Maybe you just have showed this person that you have moved on and they cannot accept it. Because you have here the Ten of Pentacles coming towards you. You have wealth. You have a person here that is coming in to offer you stability here and someone that did not treat you well they left you out in the cold they are extremely bitter about it the devil again someone is furious someone here is they breadcrumbed you they could have capricorn or an earth element in their chart this person breadcrumbed you and then they left you out in the cold um yeah the moon there there is a, they believe that there is the kind of uh, they could of course you get stuck in your head they could have like purposely wanted to be mean as well this is a very weird situation purposely trying to confuse you make you feel stuck this is someone that could try black magic this is someone that tried to get in your energy this is someone that know you're very beautiful and they're very very mean and jealous that you are still moving forward. You are still very strong. This person is holding on to you and your energy for their life. There is also a female Leo here that is full of hate. Uh, this she she um, this is someone also that see there is the per this person that is coming towards you. They could have Gemini in their chart. You could have Earth in your chart. This person could be leaving someone that have Earth in their chart. This person is like furious but they're dealing with someone that is um, yeah crazy this is someone that believed they thought that they could that they could uh, keep you stuck but see you leaving there is something about leaving a toxic crowd in the past and definitely walk towards the new you will heal here and this is your new beginning there definitely is here a um spiritual connection coming together there is a tower there is a uh, something to do with an aries tower pisces a tower here there is just something big that's happening around you that could make yeah it's like very full on it's the devil is a mean uh, energy the devil is especially coming up with a five of one someone is jealous of your wealth someone wants to cause trouble there is also someone trying to um pull make you angry on purpose uh trying to tip you over the edge someone that had the possibility to stir to to upset you as well but it says here do you walk away uh, like do you up most to walk away from from those that try to harm or cause you pain uh, because it is very easy here to stay stuck in some kind of nightmare situation yeah, just someone wants you to stay stuck in a nightmare situation that you don't have to do that. 
um, at all. Yeah, someone here that have bread crumb. They have not really, they haven't done anything to, um, to keep you in their life here. And uh, still they want you to uh, feel that this person will come back in like a hero to save you in the night. But I'm seeing here that you will get your justice. You will get your victory. You will definitely not, I, this person, there is someone here that is a player. They have made you feel stuck. This person is very toxic. This person's character could be a Virgo and they could be dealing with a Leo. This person is someone that is dealing with a, um, like, I'm going to, to clarify here actually what's the situation here. What with this person? Why is this person coming up like this? This is someone with very poor finances, but it is poor, um, a very weak mind. This person have not, uh, they have met you and they were able to um, learn from you and they could, could have seen you grow to success. You have come very far and there's a jealous energy. But this person feel that you belong to them in a way. They made a wrong choice as well. This person have done a lot of self-sabotage. But they have done sabotage by not doing anything at all. You see that this person is a player. And they have attracted someone equal. Someone have also played them. And that person could also be you. This person is bitter. And they feel that they got the shortest straw. There is a queen of wands in their environment, a Leo. They could have chosen a Leo uh, instead of you and chosen someone queen of wands instead of you. They could have gone by sort of a, like if they were to say, oh, I need to be with someone from a certain culture or certain age or certain height or I'm into brunettes or into blondes or something like that. I mean, to someone with, you know, it's something about a physique that they have chosen just because, not because of their connection. And they are hating on themselves for it because now they're in the outskirts and they will see you move towards someone that is true love and it's very attractive love. And they know they have missed out here because someone no, they do know that you actually would have chosen them. Uh, once upon a time, you would definitely have chosen this person. You, you uh, ha did have feelings for them, but they actually drained you to try to deprive you of like being worthy of love, being worthy of their attention. They try to put you down with their energy. It could have seemed quite lust-based and kind of fun as well with this person, but actually this person is very, very toxic and they have a narrow mind, scarcity mind. Somehow you have encountered someone like this and it's almost as if they left you out in the cold just as soon as almost they met you, it's weird, but still you have this connection to them. It's kind of lingering and they, it's almost like they got a, a sample of something. Like you go to the airport, right? And you, let's say you just got the sample of this very rare drink. You never drink it. And it's like, you can only get that drink one place. And you like, you can still remember the taste of that. And you're like, oh, I wish I bought a whole bottle. <laughs> I got a whole vineyard or whatever it might be, right? It's a something they had in front of them. They could have bought loads of it. <laughs> they, but the, now it's gone. They don't even remember the name, the brand, the nothing. They can't get the same taste again. It's driving them crazy that they didn't ask for the name of the brand, right? They could, again, this could be someone even they didn't ask for your number, that maybe they blocked you and didn't think that you will block them afterwards. This is someone that left you out in the cold, that left you high and dry, and now they're pissed off that you are nowhere to be seen, but somehow there is an attachment. They're trying to sort of dig into your, <laughs> dig into your world somehow. It's weird. It's like a, a leech, a, le a toxic leech that, it's part of their energy is stuck on you. And again, it could mu multiply in other people. It's like you could start seeing that devil face in other people's energy. It's something that's also happening to you spiritually in a way. Like it's almost, it could be that shedding them, you could shed your own, uh, anything that 
It has to do with self-sabotage or ha habits, bad habits that you have, whether it's people, food, drinks, drugs, uh, you know, anything, gambling, any any kind of addiction that is linked to this person. It's it's like this person has to go. It's linked also to a whole lot of stuff. It's almost like this person is like a virus. Like you get one thing, you know, you get the virus, but the virus, you know, when you get that, you get so many other things. It's not just the period where we, where you are infected. It's like whatever, what so many other things that happens to you and your life <laughs> when you are infected and afterwards, how long does it take to recover? This person is like that, <laughs> but it's, that you were meant to meet this person to grow, to learn, and to meet this new person, this new love, and also to know what kind of love you are worthy of. And not just love, but it's like what kind of life you're worthy of, what kind of, you know, your wealth, your health, everything is about to improve, but it could feel really painful as if you're going cold turkey, because there is an awakening here around many of you. It, it's, it's like a very corrupt, toxic energy that seems like you will never get rid of it. Like it just seems like you are stuck in a bubble of this toxic, codependent, sad, heavy energy. And it has to do with this person. It's quite bizarre, actually. And it could, it could sort of run into other parts of your life. And it doesn't have to be this way. It's something about someone corrupting your mind. Hmm. Now, uh, I will. Um, okay, I will use this deck. Anything about this new love? Now, this new love, this person could definitely have Pisces, Capricorn, um, perhaps a Gemini in their chart. Spirits, please tell me a little bit about the new love for the collective and the likely outcome. Yes, stay strong. Do not, do not, <laughs> do not uh, surrender. Not now. You are the creator. You are the powerful one. Sometimes when you reach the top, you will notice energies around you shift and change. You know, you, the top is whatever the top is for you. It isn't uh, a specific amount of money or what you wear or where you live. Whatever the top is for you, that's the top. And that's the energies around you are shedding right now because you are looking at everything with new eyes. Uh, you could have Leo in your chart for some of you. Um, see, there is someone here There is constantly trying to poke in you. Something to do about jealousy. There is an energy here. That is, um, it's like you are someone that gets your head down, you work, you enjoy your life, you enjoy your abundance, you work some more, right? And then there is some kind of something have been creeping, creeping in. Now, there could be a fi final battle here with, um, it's a burden, it's something about... Uh, there is some there is a confrontation here there is a confrontation by someone there yeah someone is is left out in the cold this person could be a scorpio or gemini this person is pissed off this someone have walked away from this person and there is uh, they are they they want to argue they definitely want to argue. There is like jealousy. There is, um, yeah, just someone here. They are bitter. They are bitter about something that you have won, maybe something that about your life. Um, it says here, tame, tame the beast within. The year of the pig. Uh, the year of the horse could be significant. Um, also the year of the snake could be significant here. Um, I'm also getting the year of the monkey, but, uh, let's see if we can get any more messages. Um, so 
Anything else here? Yeah, there, there's going to be an end to the corruption, this energy. Focus on your healing and rest as much as you can. There is no really uncertainty. There is something to do with something you have to end. This, this, uh, sorry, I can't speak. Uh, this could be an Aries. It could be a boss, a dominant figure. It could be father figure, brother, masculine figure that have kept you stuck that you are liberated from or maybe someone is going to be liberated and come towards you there is a big fight drama tower happening around someone someone is walking away from a situation a virgo or aries could be walking away from a situation as well um trying to find some more messages here and i'm running out of Okay, hey, sorry about that. So, okay. We have the Ten of Swords, the Emperor, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands. Okay. Now, a person that came towards you, there could be a father figure. This person is stuck in the past. This person is a player. They have not really ever moved on from this memory. They're trying to replace the memory of you. They're trying to replace you. This person could be coming back and that could be a shock. That could be a tower moment. You are their wish to, to move forward. But there is an ending with someone here. Someone needs to heal. Someone needs to heal. And I think that that is them. There is someone that you are moving away from. I do see that you have new love coming towards you. And as you get this new love, there will be, it's like someone's life is, there is drama. There is a lot of drama. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, the judgment, it's as if, the cat's out of the bag or the skeleton's out of the closet. Someone is liberated. They're coming forward. And yeah, something to do with an Aries or a Gemini, a Pisces as well. Someone has been... Oh gosh, now I have to drink some water and I have to find more cards. <laughs> it looks, at, looks like it. Because someone that made a move on you, their life changed. There was something big happened and they... Have been separated from you. Someone could have been locked up, jail. Um, someone is leaving. Someone's been under the thumb. Hmm. They're coming towards you here. Your manifestations and your intentions is only to move forward with someone that you connect with in a deep soul connection and someone that also wants a practically practical and fulfilling material future. Someone that, um, it's something about wanting the same type of living arrangement perhaps or the same lifestyle uh, you both could be quite you know um, taken back by beautiful um, you know things like furniture or you could be very in, you know you have one of you could love dogs right but one of you could love children not, not that not, no one doesn't love dogs or children but it's something about bringing uh, together like what you have so it could be a, a, a strange mix so this could be someone that you know again different culture someone is bringing like maybe you are not into dogs and you are not someone that wants children or the opposite there could also be someone that have an elderly uh, someone they're looking after and it's something about two people coming together you might not have sort of it's, it's almost a surprise that you would 
um, have feelings for someone, that have a certain living arrangement that you initially were to say, oh, absolutely no way. But then the love, the connection, the understanding, the, the support and yeah, this, this connection is like meant to be. That, that's what I'm seeing, even if it's quite unusual. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. This connection here is, you could have a child each, or it's just a blessed connection coming together. You will have a financial security as well. There has been pain. There have been pain. I can't speak now. There, you know, boredom, discontent, and unhappiness. Um... Yeah, I, I think that someone stayed stuck to traditional values and under the thumb of a traditional scenario, there is an ending with a Libra or Scorpio or Taurus. This person I almost have a... There is someone here that have been branded a player and that they will never fall in love and... They are kind of lucky to have someone here that's the queen of wands because this queen of wands, they put up with everything. and But now they realize that they are dealing maybe with a narcissistic personality that did not really want the best for them. And it was not a blessing and that they were so lucky to be with this person and that they could be this kind of scapegoat and run around freely. And, oh, they're so lucky to have this person. Someone here that is... It's like their spell, their manipulation is, is being broken. Someone is seeing someone's true colors and standing up for themselves and realizing as well that they have been under the thumb by a spell, that they have been kept away from someone they love, the empress. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart, Pisces in their chart. This person have wasted a lot of time and there is a lot of regret See, because of a queen of wands or uh, a queen of pentacles. I'm going to see here is a twin flame connection as well. We have the star, the king of cups. We have, wow, the emperor. So there is shit going down for this union to come together. That's for sure. That's for sure here. It's... Um, for some of you, you have a choice in love. You could have a choice here between two people. It's as if you are the prize. I feel that you are the one with earth elements or at least you are very practical, very nurturing. You, you, you have stability to offer. And someone here that seemed to be like very warm, outgoing, magnetic and sensual, they are now being looked at as someone that is wrecking someone's life instead of you. But that where you, you were to have that reputation initially. Like that, like some lies and stuff like that is coming out of the woodworks. Uh, there could be an Aries, someone with Aries, Aquarius uh, in their chart as well. Capricorn, maybe Cancer. It's just something that is coming to light that has been under the surface for so long. It has to do with this person's own mind, to be honest with you. Like this person's, um, you know, what their beliefs and like just not knowing themselves. And they could have also caused this energy in your life because they did not figure themselves out, even though this connection is very strong. Finding out the truth crushed me. Um, I want to be more than friends. I left you when I saw you with someone. I love you. So I do see here that someone wants someone to, to appear like happy and in love. And that wasn't the case. And... It's just they're still in your life somehow. Um, they they are weak. There's someone here waking up 
to that. They don't need to be to live this way. They don't need to behave this way. So it is possible that there is someone here that is going through a change. Now, there is a lot of resistance, though, towards this change, whether it's them or someone around them that is, it's just this energy that someone is just losing their shit. Like someone's spell is literally broken. Someone is just hell bent on being the good guy or someone is just like the colors is coming out and they are doing their utmost to throw spatter in the works for you energetically or if you know this person or this crowd or there is just something here that is yeah something to do with releasing an ex codependency yes addictions are affecting your love life great love is worth uh, sacrificing um sorry is <laughs> taking the steps you're guided to do so yeah there i i see as well there is a um a taboo in a certain culture to leave someone after maybe they've been together for so many years or there's just something that has to do with a cultural thing here and you have been separated from this person it could also be someone that's very relieved that oh you were separated but this person they were not themselves and they are waking up to themselves yeah, there's a soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. It's weird. This is, it has to do with, you have many options as well here. And you are going to be the chosen one, the catch. And there is someone that is just devastated that how could you be the chosen one? Because why would, why would they want you? But it's very weird. But you are stepping away like this is someone that's fair abandonment, chasing codependency, a girl with a snake. We have separation, heartbroken. There has been a lot of pain here. Someone, yeah, there has, you will shed someone here that will be in pain. A karmic relationship, resentment and triggers. There is a lot of that going on here. There is uh, a lot of that going on. You are definitely letting go of a energy that you have control of letting go of. Someone that want to tie you to this pain. Yeah, pain, try to stir you, trigger you. And then knowing that if you get triggered, then you get angry and you could question yourself. <clears throat> Yeah, there's someone here that's very, very, very bitter. Anything else? There are spirits around the collector's energy. Well, this reading turned out to be quite long. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to wrap up a cycle here um, <clears throat> very, very soon. You are going to heal. You are going to collaborate with new people. There could be a, some, a toxic person in a work environment that's going to be like known as well why is the three of pentacles here someone that tried to keep you blindfolded lie to you try to deny your happiness try to uh, avoid you getting promoted or being seen giving you no attention trying to still keep you on tabs giving you more work paying you less this could be a boss as well this could be an environment uh, you have figured them out this could be a narcissist around you that is a male as well this is someone that you feel is your enemy uh, there is something to do here with that someone on a distance even they're not even near you but they're still like very narcissistic they're still trying to keep you burdened you are going to discover uh, in solitudes, uh, something to do with someone trying to hurt you. Could be a Libra as well. Uh, there is someone, fire sign, could have left you out in the cold. There is something to do about someone. There was someone being very mean. You are going to find out these answers. You, Most of you, <clears throat> this is a time where you're going to heal. You are going to release someone that's karmic and very codependent. You're going to see someone's true colors here. Yeah, there is um, someone you are walking away from. They're trying to make you stay 
I don't know why is this so, such a it's difficult to let this person go it, it has to do with um, there is a very strong attraction here uh, this person and this they could be linked to some kind of codependency trauma here as well um, but yeah there is something that's going to be re released in a work environment as well that's what I feel too. Um, the two of cups, you could be definitely from two different cultures. You see it have the dark hand and the whiter hand there together. It's two people joining forces. It, it is soulmates here. But see here, there is something going down in a workplace. Someone with a scarcity mindset trying to cause trouble here. This could be a king of wands that you are releasing for a an air sign as well that's coming in very 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 fast yeah i see yeah there is someone here that's trying to keep you stuck someone here is really really try they are very very hurt yes a spiritual connection now this could be a leo they've had so many chances but they never come forward this person yeah there's someone i have not come forward had just been on a distance done nothing but try to keep you stuck you are releasing this but yeah this is someone that is they could try a spell on you this person is quite crazy it's a crazy energy a crazy crazy energy and i See this person, this person could have Aries or Leo in their chart. I mean, this is someone that could seriously try spells. Like, I don't know. See here, yeah, there's a strong soulmate connection here. But there is jealousy, like no tomorrow. The Emperor is here, someone that is devastated that they cannot control you. They cannot control or keep you tied to them. They're trying with like a lot of manipulation here there this is someone trying to block your blessings and how you will move away from it i would say this it is something to do with a solitude away from someone so they can't see you here it is to do with self-love because there is someone around you that is extremely codependent here I'm going to leave it at that. Collective, please like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you very soon. Take care.